How you going? In this video, I'll be comparing my wax suede boots, but I'll also talk about what wax suede actually is, how to care for it and re-wax it, and why it's different from wax flesh. Stick around, it'll be fun. G'day, welcome back to Bootlosophy, and if this is your first time, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands I live and work on here in Perth, Western Australia, the Wajuk people. I'm going to go through each of the wax suede pairs of boots I own, from uh, Grant Stone to Caswell to Bourdon, Colombia. But first, let's talk about suede. Suede is a type of leather made from the bottom half of an animal skin and is a split leather. A full grain hide is run through a roller with a blade running horizontally, which splits the thick original hide into a top and bottom half. The top half is taken off to be made into full grain or top grain leather, and the bottom half is made into suede. As you can imagine, uh, being split off from the smooth grain top half, the suede split is a nappy textured leather on one side and a rough out leather on the other. Some bootmakers will actually turn the suede split so that the rough out suede uh, side of the suede is used on the outside of the boot, just like a full grain hide uh, turned rough side out. This is why some English manufacturers will call their boots suede when in fact they are rough out, uh, just with the suede side on the inside of the boot rather than the smooth skin side, uh, as in full grain rough outs. The advantage of suede is that it's a softer and more supple leather, but of course, the downside is that because of the looser fibers, it's not as strong as full grain leather. In fact, the word suede comes from the French gant de suede, or gloves from Sweden, showing what it was first used for. Uh, also on the plus side, although I just said it was not as strong, is that it is durable as distinct from strong. By this I mean that because of the looser fibers, it can withstand scratching a lot more easily than smooth grain leather. Now, once treated, the nap becomes soft and smooth like a fabric, and so it's also attractive as a dressier, nappy leather than rough out. Wax suede is just a further development of suede leather. Generally, after the suede is split from the hide, it is corrected to refine the nap, and then it's treated with wax, sometimes in a secondary process of tanning, sometimes just by finishing off the surface with a coat of wax that's then heated to blend the wax into the fibers themselves. The most famous and probably best type of wax suede is Charles F. Stead's Waxy Commander. Charles F. Stead is a generations old tannery from the 1890s and is based in Leeds in England. They heat the suede with wax in it to shrink the fiber structure by up to 25% and in doing so the wax is then impregnated into the fiber structure. The tightness of the fiber structure then means that it prevents stretching and over creasing allows dyes to work with the waxes in it, it, then cracks off eventually to develop a beautiful wear and patina. With the tight structure and the waxes, it's obviously a lot more water resistant than normal suede, and instead treats Waxy Commander in the tannage to make it waterproof when new. Other tanneries will avoid the shrinking because it means a loss of product. And while some will still impregnate the suede with wax, others will simply coat the surface with wax. As wax suede is a less delicate leather than untreated suede, it needs less care. In fact, wax suede's welcome hard wear so that the wax on the surface can actually crack and wear and reveal the nap underneath. All it needs in the most part is a good brushing every now and then to remove dirt and dust, and then from time to time going over it with a suede brush that has harder bristles, sometimes copper bristles. If dirty, it can be cleaned with a suede cleaner uh, even saddle soap, if you don't mind the waxes in the saddle soap, are leaving a waxy film over the just-released nap under the wax from the tannage. Particularly with lighter or redder base suedes like tobacco or snuff waxy commander, as the nap starts to show through, so will the reddish base colour to create a really beautiful patina. If you do want to return to more or less the original uh, waxy look once a nap is really showing, you can use a waxy type of conditioner like Venetian shoe cream or preferably something like a waxy leather cream or balm and then brush it off once soaked in. 
You can also apply a harder layer of wax back on the surface using uh, an Otto Wax fabric wax bar, rubbing it over the worn boot and then using a heat gun or hair dryer, melting it into the surface. You may have to repeat the process a couple of times and you can see me do it with the Grantstone Edward Boot in Tobacco Waxy Commander up there. But let's now take a look at the character of wax suede. First with these Grantstone brass boots in what they call their earth makeup. What Grantstone call earth is a chocolate brown base suede that's been very lightly waxed. This is a Charlestead Waxy Commander, but even out of the box, it doesn't look and feel as heavily waxed as the, uh, uh, on the outer than any other Waxy Commander hides. I'm sure it's tanned the same way as all Waxy Commanders, that is, both uh, waxed in the tannage as well as at the finish on the surface. But the surface uh, does feel like it has less of a surfacing of hard wax. For some reason, it feels softer under the hand and even when the wax is wearing off, you do get the chocolate nap showing through, but it still feels and looks less waxy on the surface. You can see the full review of this pair up there. I have worn this pair so hard on hikes and walks that the surface wax has all but gone. And I have re-waxed it recently using a light rubbing of the Otto Wax fabric wax and then heating the wax coat with a hairdryer, allowing it to melt into the suede fibers. I only put one coat of wax on it because it felt right to have a light coat over this soft nap. The actual patina when it's worn hard is a lot less aggressive than those with a redder suede under the wax and it gives a softer feel to the boot because underneath the dark wax, it's a dark chocolate anyway. Which is a good time to compare the uh, Earth with Grant Stone's Edward boot in what they call wax tobacco. By the way, I'll leave links to all of these websites in the description below so um, you can have a look and explore and see what their website and publicity photos look like. And if you want to uh, buy any, some of them are affiliate links. Despite being called a wax tobacco makeup, this is also a stead waxy commander. In this case, the wax in the tanning process is the usual wax mixture, but then a dark brown surface wax is applied. And in this case, it seems more heavily than the brass boot, uh, or at least the suede nap is a bit rougher because out of the box, uh, they felt waxy on the surface and the leather did not feel as soft and supple as the brass boot in earth. Underneath this dark surface, is a tobacco colored or reddish suede. And as soon as you walk, it shows through. I have also recently re-waxed these with Otto Wax. The Otto Wax is not colored, but despite that, after the coatings, you can see it's darkened the reddish suede underneath by quite a lot. When uh, it was worn hard, it did develop the most amazing patina showing through the nappy red tobacco color of the suede underneath. And actually the nap appeared as if it has longer fibers than the earth model. Because of the rewaxing, it's hard to see the tobacco showing through in real life. Uh, so I brought along these. The Caswell Lisbon boot in Snuff Waxy Commander. Now, I don't know if Snuff suede is the same as tobacco suede, because after all, uh, Snuff is a form of tobacco. In the hand, it looks the same. And you can see the wear on the vamp where it shows through the creasing. I haven't rewaxed this. The differentiation between the uh, reddish nap showing through uh, and the darker wax surface uh, of the Stead Waxy Commander. Um, so you can see why the Earth Waxy Commander is perhaps surprisingly less contrasting when it wears. Now, I want to show you that uh, difference in contrast uh, with these two boots from Bordon Colombia. This is their Tucano lace-up combat boot in medium brown wax suede. Uh, and this Chelsea one here is the Isidro in dark brown wax suede. Uh, check out the review of the Tucano up there. Um, I've also shown off the Isidro boots before, so go into my channel and have a route around and you'll find the video of them. Now, I don't know if the light and the camera are good enough for you to see, but one has a lighter brown base in the suede and the other has a darker brown. The lighter medium brown base shows much more contrast as it patinas uh, and that lighter base shows through, whereas the Isidro with the darker base certainly looks like it's developing patina, uh, but there's not a stronger contrast between the color of the nap showing through and the darker still waxed areas. Both of these are wax suede from an Italian tannery. Uh, they probably went through a similar tanning and waxing process to suede's waxy commander, but you can feel a difference. 
Out of the box, these felt stiffer than the stead leathers, despite the waxing on the surface on both. Uh, and this also feels like it has a less heavy coat anyway. In wear, the different temper was also felt. They were harder to break in, whereas the stead leathers felt just like a heavy suede. You could have been forgiven to think that these were full grain by the initial temper of these boots. Now that they have worn in and developed the patina, uh, where the wax is rubbed and worn off, they still feel stiffer and the nap feels less soft and shorter, just like the uh, Italian unwaxed suede on my Astoflex boots. And you can see a review of that up there. Uh, I'd be hard pressed to say which I prefer, I think, you know. I think you can categorically say that Stead's Waxy Commander is a really great tannage, but they've been doing it for decades. But I can't say these are bad, just different, and in fact, tougher. How can I put this? Uh, if you want to, uh, the wear, and patina to look good and show in the contrast of nap and uh, versus wax, go for a red-based waxy commander. If you want tougher wax suede boots where the patina is less contrasting but looks more like a wax rough out, go for this Italian wax suede. Now before I finish, I want to touch on waxed flesh. I think I said at the beginning, did I say at the beginning? Uh, I think I said at the beginning that wax suede is not waxed flesh. If I already said it, I might cut this bit out in the edit if I'm, you know, observant enough. But wax suede is not wax flesh. As I described, wax suede is taking the split suede uh, bottom layer of a hide and then tanning it with waxes and adding a wax treatment to the surface. Wax flesh is a wax rough out leather. When you split the hide to make suede from the bottom and smooth grain leather from the top, sometimes the top uh, is turned around the wrong way to make into a boot with a rough, fibrous, nappy flesh side outwards. Wax flesh is basically the rough outside covered in a much thicker covering of wax than used on the wax suede. I'll talk about this uh, White's MP boot in cinnamon wax flesh as the example. So, this leather is from Horween and basically it's the Chrome XL leather, tanned as Chrome XL through, you know, the multi stages over 28 days. And then they finished a rough outside with several layers of thick wax. When new, there is so much wax, it's hard to tell that it's a rough out leather. Uh, the wax makes it so smooth that it looks like smooth grain leather. Uh, these are well worn, as you can see from the creasing at the vent uh, and at the shaft. But even so, it's hard to see that there's any kind of nappy rough out in there. I can tell you it takes some really hard wearing to get the rough out to show through, which speaks for the hard wearing durability of this wax flesh leather. Now, this pair of Truman boots in Java wax flesh are about just as old, a lot harder worn uh, on some dry rocky trails on my weekends, and you can see a lot more nappy rough out showing through on the heels, uh, in the shaft, on the toe, um, all in all, the wax flesh is a lot tougher than wax suede, but both are pretty durable. So in summary, should you get a pair of waxed suede boots? I think a lot depends on how you want to wear a particular pair of boots. They will patina quickly, and if there is a lighter colored base suede, they will show through a quite a sharp and rough contrast with the starting waxiness on the surface. So if you want dressier boots, be aware of that. If you like the rougher showing patina and the look of boots that have had a, a hard life, uh, wax suede will be what you need. They are water resistant, if not waterproof, at least at the beginning, and being suede, never mind wax, they will withstand scratches better than uh, a smooth grain boot. Uh, and you can intend to wear it hard, no problem. So as weatherproof boots in water, rain, mud or snow, they would be what you want. Wearing them to go to the office, no, probably not. Even if you wear regular suede shoes to work, not wax suede, unless your work dress codes are relaxed to the rugged side of things, you know, like maybe you work in admin for the SAS or Delta Force or something like that. As I said, I'll leave links to the makers below. So if you like the style, go and take a look. And of course, don't forget to click on like, right? And if you're not yet subscribed, come on, these videos are fun. Click on the subscribe button down there, which means I'll see you next time. And until then, take care and I'll see you soon.
Do, 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 do. Music, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay.